They're football fans. It's that time of the year again, the race to win the golden ball is well and truly on. And with the Champions League making a comeback, it's only going to intensify matters. The competition for the 2023 Ballon d'Or has already gained a lot of momentum, even though it seems like just yesterday when Karim Benzema was receiving the trophy. The World Cup's timing in the middle of the 2022-23 season means that this year's Golden Ball contest will be unlike any other. By the time the ballots are cast, it might be only a distant memory. However, it's undeniable that some players' prospects of winning the Golden Ball have increased as a result of their prominent roles in Qatar. So who has been driving the charge thus far? We would like to share some rankings with you. This list contains 20 incredible players, and we will examine each one in turn. At number 20, we have Mohamed Salah from Liverpool. Last year, he ranked 9th, but with 19 goals and 7 assists this season, it seems unlikely that he will be able to redeem Liverpool's form before the season ends. Next up on the 19th, we have Akraf Hakimi from Paris Saint-Germain, who has maintained his amazing form from the World Cup with outstanding performances for PSG. Coming in at number 18, we have Harry Kane from Tottenham, who has already broken Tottenham's all-time goal record. Although his time in North London may be coming to an end, he still has his eye on scoring goals to ensure Spurs see off AC Milan and reach the Champions League quarterfinals. At 17, we have Julian Alvarez from Manchester City. Despite winning the World Cup, he has not kicked on from his World Cup heroics as he might have hoped. At number 16, we have Enzo Fernandez from Chelsea. Being the most expensive player in Premier League history, he has already shown glimpses of why he was voted young player of the tournament at the World Cup during his two appearances in a Chelsea shirt. Up next at 15, we have Kevin De Bruyne from Manchester City. Although he has been short of his best form for a number of months now, we can expect him to take over matches on his own and lead City to win plenty of trophies come June. Coming in at number 14, we have Martin Odegaard from Arsenal. He might not be the on-field leader Arsenal has been crying out for, but he's been unplayable in some games this season and can rightfully claim to be ahead of De Bruyne right now as the Premier League's top creative midfielder. At number 13, we have Jude Bellingham from Borussia Dortmund. Regardless of how he performs in the second half of the season, Bellingham is sure to be always close to the headlines given the battle about to break out to sign him this summer. At number 12, we have Bukayo Saka from Arsenal. He's blossoming into one of English football's very best players, and the Gunners can count themselves fortunate to have him within their ranks. At number 11, we have Case Miro, who plays for Manchester United. He has scored five goals and has given seven assists this season and he even won the UEFA Super Cup. Case Miro is a revolutionary signing for United, he has fixed their defensive midfield problem, and he has helped to transform them from being an average team to a top contender in the Premier League and Europe. Jamal Musiala is our number 10 player, and he plays for Bayern Munich. He has scored 14 goals and provided 13 assists, and he also won the DFL Super Cup. He is the only bright spark in Germany's forgettable World Cup campaign. Musiala is on track to be the Bundesliga's player of the season, and it's remarkable to think that he won't even turn 20 until the end of February. He is having a huge impact on one of the juggernauts of European football. At number 9, we have Victor Osimhen, who plays for Napoli. He has scored 18 goals and provided 4 assists this season, despite missing a month of action due to an injury. He has still climbed to the top of the Serie A top scorer rankings, and he has been netting goals in all but one of Napoli's league games since the World Cup. Napoli is closing in on a historic Scudetto triumph, and he could have a big say in this season's Champions League. Kvicic Veretskilia is our number 8 player, and he also plays for Napoli. He has scored 13 goals and provided 15 assists this season, and he is European football's breakout star of the 2022-23 season. 
Kvaratskhelia is showing no signs of slowing down, and he deserves to be mentioned in the same breath as Maradona, at least in southern Italy. At number 7, we have Vinicius Jr., who plays for Real Madrid. He has scored 17 goals and given 11 assists this season and won the Club World Cup and the UEFA Super Cup. Vinicius' form has dropped off since the World Cup, but he is having to deal with constant abuse, some of it racist, from opposition fans. We have to give him credit for continuing to come out fighting. Our number six player is Marcus Rashford, who plays for Manchester United. He has scored 24 goals and given eight assists this season, and he is arguably the most informed player in the world right now. Since the World Cup, he has scored 13 goals in 14 games for United, and he could yet catapult himself right into contention for a place on the Ballon d'Or podium in the coming months. At number 5, we have Neymar, who plays for Paris Saint-Germain. He has scored 20 goals and given 19 assists this season, and he won the Trophy de Champions. Neymar is once again coming under fire in Paris as PSG's form has started to stutter, but he remains a game-changer at the highest level. We shouldn't be surprised to see a reaction from the Brazil star as the Champions League returns. Coming in at number 4, we have Robert Lewandowski of Barcelona. Last season, he finished 5th in the Ballon d'Or rankings, but this season he's off to an incredible start with 25 goals and 8 assists, and even helped Barcelona win the Supercopa de España. Even with a three-game suspension in La Liga, he's still a vital part of Barcelona's title race and will be hoping to make a difference in the Europa League, starting with their playoff tie against Manchester United. Next up, we have Erling Haaland, the Norwegian terminator of Manchester City, at number three. He's had an unbelievable start to the season, scoring an impressive 32 goals and four assists, and was brought to Manchester City to help them win the Champions League. With the next few months being crucial for Holland's legacy at the Etihad Stadium, he'll need to keep up his impressive form to get Manchester City over the final hurdle in the Champions League. At number 2, we have Kylian Mbappe of Paris Saint-Germain. Although he finished second in the Ballon d'Or rankings last season, his injury came at the worst time for PSG as they prepared to face Bayern Munich in the Champions League. But, with Mbappe back in training, he could play a vital role in both legs of the blockbuster last 16 tie. If he can perform at the same level as he did in the World Cup, he might even have a shot at his first Ballon d'Or win. And finally, at the top of the list, we have the legendary Lionel Messi of Paris Saint-Germain. He won the Ballon d'Or last season and led Argentina to World Cup glory, making him a clear favorite for this year's award. However, with the timing of Qatar 2022 within the season and how performances in the Champions League can sway the voting, the race might not be as clear-cut as it currently seems. Messi's post-World Cup form has been spotty at best, and PSG has a tough last 16 tie. Will Messi be able to hold on to his title or will a new winner emerge? That's it for today, folks. Who do you think will win this year's Ballon d'Or? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more football news and updates.